Hello, I'm really pleased to welcome you to Caffrey's beautiful Greenmount campus, which is only 20 miles from Belfast and halfway between the historic town of Antrim and Belfast International Airport. I'm standing outside this very impressive manor house, which opened its doors to its first students in 1912. It has grown considerably since then, with over 1,000 students now studying a range of courses in agriculture, horticulture, floristry, land-based engineering and veterinary nursing. Greenmount really has superb facilities. This combined with staff that have a very close association with the agri-food industry has led to Greenmount having an internationally recognised reputation for excellence. In fact, many of the leaders in the agri-food industry today have passed through these doors and accredit Greenmount for their success. But perhaps more importantly, it wasn't just the learning they remember, but the lifelong friends and crack they had while they were students here. And that hasn't changed. The campus is still buzzing and there is a real sense of community spirit here, which people will remember long after they graduate. It is a beautiful place to study with a lot of investment in teaching and learning resources. And it doesn't stop there. Over the next number of years, there will be even more investment in new staff and student accommodation and science facilities. Greenmount really is the place to be and has lots to offer. So welcome and I hope you enjoy our virtual tour. Good evening everyone and a very warm welcome to our virtual event for agriculture education at CAFRE. My name is George Moffat and I am the Head of Agriculture Education. CAFRE is the College of Agriculture, Food and Rural Enterprise and we are an integral part of the Department of Agriculture, Environment and Rural Affairs in Northern Ireland. We have three campuses, Enniskillen Campus in County Fermanagh where the focus is on equine education, Food education is delivered at our Lockery campus in Cookstown and then at Greenmount campus we deliver courses in agriculture, horticulture, land-based engineering, floristry and veterinary nursing. The focus of our virtual event tonight is on the agriculture courses delivered at Greenmount campus and I am joined with two of our course managers to help tell you about uh, the courses that we have on offer. Uh, Mark Carson and Aaron Downey. And if I come to Mark, first of all, Mark, could you give us an introduction to yourself and how you've ended up in your current role? Thank you, George. Yes, um, I'm Mark Carson. I studied for a degree in agricultural science at Queen's University more years ago than I care to remember, and then studied for a PhD in animal nutrition. I'm now course manager for the higher education agriculture programs at CAFRI, where I manage the team of lecturers involved in their delivery. Thank you, Mark. And moving then Aaron, uh, to Aaron Downey, uh, Aaron is our level three course manager for further education courses. Aaron, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and how you've ended up in your current role? Well, George, after I completed my agriculture degree at Queen's University, I was then um, moved to Enniskillen College, as it was then, to teach full-time agriculture there. After that, I spent a period of years as a dairying advisor, particularly in the South Antrim area, and then I have returned full cycle back to, the, back to education here at Greenmount. I lead a team of very committed, enthusiastic instructors and lecturers who deliver day and daily skills and classes to our students. Thank you, Aaron. And we'll hear more from both Mark and Aaron later on as we delve into the courses that are available. Normally, each October, we open the doors of Greenmount Campus uh, to receive prospective students and their parents and guardians and to tell them about the various courses that we have on offer and to let them see the excellent facilities on site uh, for the delivery of those courses. Unfortunately, that's not possible this year. And over the next 40 to 45 minutes, I hope through this virtual event that will give you a real flavour of the courses that we have available in agriculture, the life of a student at Greenmount, and the facilities uh, that are available for students studying at Greenmount. So we'll hear from Mark and Aaron. We'll go on virtual tours of our facilities and we'll hear from some current and former students. This is a live event. So as you listen, please give us a thumbs up uh, to let us know you're listening. And as we go through this evening, if you have any questions that you'd like to ask, please send them in and we'll do our best to answer them this evening. Or if we don't get a chance to answer them tonight, then we'll get back to you as soon as possible. 
Mark, we'll start maybe with you, and we'll start with looking at some of our higher education courses in agriculture. Uh, this is a busy time of year for A-level and Level 3 students as they complete their UCAS forms. Can you tell us firstly then, Mark, the, about the higher education courses that we have on offer in agriculture? Yeah. We have a suite of three higher education agriculture courses here at Greenmount. We have a BSc in Agricultural Technology that we deliver in partnership with Queen's University, Belfast. We have a new honours degree in Sustainable Agriculture which we deliver uh, with, uh, we, we deliver the full course here and is validated by Ulster University. And we have a f foundation degree in agriculture t and technology, also validated by University of Ulster. Okay, and Mark, you mentioned the agricultural technology degree validated by Queen's. What's Caffrey's role in the delivery of that degree? This is a long, long established program and it's three or four years, depending on whether a student takes a year's work placement. And in essence, we at CAFRI deliver the first two years of that program here, uh, where the students learn the applied practical aspects of animal science, crop science, and animal and crop production before moving on to work placement in the final year at Queen's campus in Belfast. Okay. And you also mentioned the new uh, Sustainable Agriculture Honours Degree. Can you give a little more, bit more detail on that new qualification? Yes, we're, we're delighted to be able to announce the provision of a new honours degree in sustainable agriculture validated by Ulster University. Uh, it's, a real, it's a real opportunity for the college to progress and develop its um, HE provision. This course is of three or four year duration. There are two option pathways, a uh, su sustainable land use or a agribusiness management pathway. And again, there's opportunities for work placement. Okay, thanks Mark. Um, and you mentioned that the two degrees, the foundation degree, are those courses all uh, only available for full-time study or are there part-time options available as well? The agricultural technology degree with Queen's is a full-time provision only, but both the honours in sustainable agriculture and the foundation degree are available in both full-time and part-time provision. Okay. Mark, one of the key strengths of all CAFRI education courses is the links that we have developed with industry. Can you maybe elaborate on how industry supports our higher education provision in agriculture? I think one of the strengths of CAFRI is the strong links with industry and indeed all our courses are designed with close association to the needs of the industry. And not only is the aim to produce technically and practically competent graduates but highly employable graduates and um, with well developed interpersonal skills. Industry has demonstrated its endorsement of our programmes by the provision of some £22,000 worth of bursaries for first year students on the Higher Education Agricultural Programme, which shows a real commitment and endorsement of our programmes. In addition, our close link with industry provides us with ample opportunities for industry visit visits to primary producers and processing and marketing opportunities and also guest lectures from industry would come in to speak to the students on the programmes. Okay, so Mark, as we're saying, a really strong linkages with industry and really strong support. And for a young person listening tonight who's interested in applying for one of those higher education courses, could you explain maybe what a typical day or typical week is, is like at Greenmount Campus? Well, as I said, George, our, our courses are applied and practical, so it's not all about classroom-based learning. In our higher education programs, while there are obviously lectures, then we have numerous visits to, to producers to get a real insight to what's happening on the ground. But also with the excellent farm resources we have at the college, we get the students integrally involved with those enterprises, the development of practical skills, employability skills, a real hands-on learning by doing approach, and also an analysis of the enterprise physical and financial performance. That coupled with uh, visiting speakers and seminars or visits to research establishments um, would be a typical week. So it's by all means not classroom based. Okay, Mark, thank you. You mentioned uh, the importance of developing employability skills in our graduates. And again, maybe for someone listening and particularly maybe for parents listening, uh, what are the, the job prospects or the employment prospects uh, for students who graduate 
uh, with an agricultural qualification? Well, our destination analysis of our agriculture programs show that 92% of our graduates are in employment or undertaking further study within six months of graduation. It's very encouraging. Very encouraging. And Mark, what types of careers would uh, graduates go into? Th there's a wide range of positions that our, our graduates go into and they're very much in demand. Obviously, commercial practical farm management, indeed some, some are going home to, to farm, but uh, farm management, agri-financial business management, um, agri-journalism, research positions, technical support. Thanks, Mark. And uh, I suppose with the, the breadth of uh, agricultural topics available now in terms of agricultural technology, agribusiness, agri-environment, that really has broadened the employment prospects for, for graduates. Indeed, uh, the graduates from our program would are highly employable in, in a width of fields where, where a degree is essential. So highly em employability is a focus of all our programs. Okay, and Mark, someone uh, wanting to find out a little bit more about the courses we've talked about, where can they find that information? Well, we have an excellent website resource where our course provision is there and uh, the students visit, visit there and indeed they can contact us directly at the college for any information they want. Okay. Mark has given us a really comprehensive overview of our higher education agri agricultural courses and in particular the exciting news of the new degree that the college has just launched with Ulster University. We're now going to um, hear from a student who is a current uh, student with CAFRI and a, and a student on the Honours Degree in Agricultural Technology course, Sarah Davidson. And Sarah started her career and her education at Greenmount on the Level 3 Extended Diploma. So I hope you enjoy listening to Sarah. Hello, Sarah. So you're a current student at the college here. Tell us a wee bit about yourself and about your journey to where you are now at Caffrey. Um, so I'm from Kales. Uh, we have a small folding at home just of a small flock of sheep and a few laying hens. So I'm not really from a farming background, but grew up living in the countryside, so I grew up surrounded by it. So that kind of spiked my interest in agriculture. So at 16, I left school after completing my GCSEs and came to CAFRI starting on the Level 3 Extended Diploma Programme. Um, so for my placement year in that diploma, I went to New Zealand and then that sort of really sort of set in stone that this was my passion. I really wanted to pursue a career in agriculture. So that encouraged me on to start in the honours degree programme, which I'm on now, and I'm just in my second year of the degree. Okay, so you, you chose to come and do the level three course first, and a lot of people would do their A-levels, stay on at school and do their A-levels first. What made you make that choice to come at 16 and do the level three? It was a hard decision. I definitely, I was torn and um, sitting at the careers day. I was one hand to do my A-levels, another, to go to Caffrey um, but I guess agriculture I knew it was what I wanted to do I had an interest in it I didn't really like school very much and the thing that really sort of interested me about Caffrey was the practical aspects of it as well like you weren't just sitting in a classroom you were out getting experience which is such a big thing these days and especially in agriculture all your knowledge is put into practice with that experience so I guess I knew it was what I wanted to do and I haven't looked back since, so. And do you get plenty of opportunity to go out and do those practical skills and do the practical on the farm? Definitely through the diploma programme. Um, I'd nearly go as far as saying it was 50-50, practical and theory based, um, which really did help build your confidence going out in the placement year as well. With the degree, it's a wee bit more theory based. We still do practical aspects and try to go out on sort of day trips to farms and farm visits. Um, but the diploma was very practical based as well, yeah. You mentioned there about your placement year. So you went to New Zealand for yeah. your placement. Um, can you tell us a bit about that? What do you feel you learnt from your time in New Zealand? So I went out to New Zealand at 17, which is quite young and um, really had a push on to pass my driving test before I went out um, but I was working on a 650 dairy herd and they were milking through a 54 bale rotary parlour which I'd never milked through before either so that was completely new to me and um, 
the main things I sort of gained from my placement would probably just be the knowledge. Like it really put in what you'd learned in theory into practice and furthered that even further. Uh, the experience was phenomenal, especially going out so far away from home and just seeing farming on such a large scale. Uh, independence as well. I was living on my own, so you really had to sort of take hold of yourself and you know just you're cooking you had to work around with work hours and it's a lot of responsibility but great experience um so you're on the degree program now and you are in your second year tell us a bit about your course um so the modules that we're studying this year are sort of well first year was very science based um i know there was quite a lot of ones did move on through the diploma with me. I think there's about seven of us came through the diploma program and most of the other people in our course have came on from A-levels. The support that you have is great. They will, they're there to help you. Um, this year then we're studying, we've got crop production, livestock production, um, agri-food and business and grass production as well. So again, we're just further in our knowledge. The agri-food and business is a new module, so it's quite interesting um, talking about sort of the current sort of affairs going on in agriculture. So it's really good to get that knowledge too, because not everything you know is going to be out on the farm. Sarah, thank you very much for taking the time to talk to us. No problem. And, um, look, just wish you all the best in your um, the rest of your degree. Thanks to Sarah, who has given us a really good flavour of the life of a higher education student here at Greenmount. As we mentioned, Sarah began her education at Caffrey on the Level 3 Extended Diploma in Agriculture course, and we're now going to turn our attention to our further education courses. And Aaron, um, we, we deliver a number of further education courses on a full and part-time basis. Could you firstly tell us about the full-time courses that are available? Well, George, at full time, there are two courses available for students. First of all, there is the Level 2 Certificate in Agriculture, which is one year full time, obviously, at the college here. And that's where students would focus on practical work coming in, and they would also get support in lectures, and that takes the full 30-odd weeks that the students would be here. We then have a three-year programme, which is a Level 3 Extended Diploma in Agriculture, as you say. And that is really at an A-level uh, level, so students will come again uh, post-GCSE to that course. Within the three years, they spend first year at Greenmount here, um, studying the likes of dairy production, business management, health and safety. And then following that, they'll go on a year's work placement. And then when they come back again in final year, again, they'll study topics like habitat management, business planning, animal nutrition, but they'll also go on farm visits. They will also have some skills as well. And one of the highlights for the students actually is a tour usually that we would have in the springtime to another region of the UK and they get a lot out of that, that part of the course. Okay, so two very applied and, and, uh, and you know, a wide range of topics covered in both courses. Yes, definitely. There's a wide, ra wide range and for anybody thinking of coming, you know, there'll be an interview process and they'll find the right level and the right course for them. Okay. You mentioned, Aaron, about the one year placement on the level three course. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yes, that is a long, tr a long established part of the course here at Greenmount where students will go out and work on a farm for 12 months, usually from August following round to the following July. And during that year, they will go out, they'll work with a farm, they'll get experience of the full production cycle within those 12 months. And we found in the past that students coming back then, they're a lot more focused on what they want to do for the remainder of the course. And they're also a lot more um, focused on what their future career pathway, which way they want to go. Um, the majority of our students will stay in Northern Ireland, but we also have students in GB mainland as well, who will go on to farm as well as that, we have opportunities in New Zealand through New Zealand Dairy Careers and in the United States through the uh, Ohio programme. So we have a wide range of work experience out there to provide those students with pra both practical skills, but also communication, resilience, um, negotiation skills, all those things that make them better rounded whenever they move forward with their career. 
Okay. So if a student, a uh, young person thinking of applying for one of those courses, what would a typical day at, at Greenmount look like for a student on, on a level two or a level three course? Um, most of the students are split up into groups, so it depends what group they're in. But say, for instance, today there would have been a group of students up in the dairy centre at six o'clock this morning, ready for milking and, and ongoing with that. Um, at seven o'clock, there'll also be another group going up um, to feed the calves, to look after all the young stock and the heifers up at the dairy centre. And then they will meet up with the rest of their group later on that morning and they will have classes, lectures in the likes of dairy production, etc. Um, after lunch, they will go back up to the farm where again they'll be in small groups and they'll work around a rotation of different what we call skills. So they'll, for instance, uh, this week they've been dehorning calves for the dairy skills, they've been machinery up, tractor driving for the machinery operations, and they've been practicing the development of jo their joinery skills and estate management. So they rotate around that, mm -hmm. learning those skills and developing those while they're here. Mm -hmm. And even though they're at college then, they really are experiencing uh, the life on a farm? Definitely, the skills are things that we'd be expected to do when they go on to farm, yes. Okay. And so someone uh, considering of coming to a course at Greenmount, are there any costs for them to study one of those further education courses? Um, no, because these are further education courses, there are no tuition fees as such. All we ask students to pay for would be the accommodation if they're coming to live in here as such, and any food that they would use here, obviously, etc. And for students and parents, there are grants that they can apply for through the Education Authority. Okay, thank you, Erin. So that's the full-time courses. Could you tell us a little bit then about the part-time courses that are available? Well, the part-time courses would really reflect the full-time in that we both have a Level 2 and a Level 3 provision with students mostly starting off with level two. And they really work on the basis that the student will work on a farm, which could be their own farm, for um, a maximum of 24, 21 hours a week. And then they would come into a center, such as Greenmount, um, and get their theory and their skills built up during that time. Um, certainly level three then, we offer both a dairy and a beef pathway for that, so students can get some level of specialization. And for both level two and level three, you know, students can, can do that through the apprenticeship program as well. So it is a great op um, opportunity for those who maybe can't commit full time, but yet want to still um, get an agricultural education. So it's very good for that. Okay. And you mentioned there that students have the opportunity to progress. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Within all our, all our courses, there are pathways for progression, which is really one of the positive features of the courses. So students on level two, whether it's full-time or part-time, can progress to level three, full-time or part-time. And one thing we are finding increasingly is that our level three full-time diploma students are progressing on to higher education and the courses that Mark has talked about. We are finding they are increasingly looking at that as an alternative to A-levels, a, a more vocational course, and certainly an, a different pathway, but for some it's a pathway that may suit them better than straight A-levels at school. Okay, thank you. Um, you, you mentioned the, the practical facilities and uh, throughout the, the week and the teaching week at Caffrey, the students are on farm. And at this stage, we're going to um, get a virtual tour of the farm facilities. Robert Hull, our farm director, is going to take us on a virtual tour and really to let us see the, the facilities and the types of activities that the students get involved in uh, during their time with us at Greenmount. Hello everyone, you're very welcome to the virtual tour of the Caffrey Farms. My name is Robert Hull and I'm the farm director here. The Caffrey Farms are a really important part of DARE's responsibility to provide education and training across the agri-food industry. The farms carry out a central role with students who attend a wide range of courses at Greenmount Campus. They are also used to demonstrate a wide range of knowledge and technology transfer projects to farmers and the wider industry. Within the Caffrey Estate there are three farm centres, the first being the dairy centre where we milk our herd of 180 Holstein cows. The dairy enterprise aims to demonstrate an efficient dairy production system with a focus on environmental sustainability. The herd performs to a very high level with rolling average performance figures of just under 9,000 litres per cow at 4.1% butterfat and 3.4% protein with a feed rate of 0.32 kilograms of feed per litre of milk. 
We are always working to improve the efficiency and sustainability of our business and performance from forage is a key priority. Linked to this are technology projects, for example grazing management for high yielding cows, production of high quality silage and the management of alternative forages. The Dairy Centre is an exemplar of best practice in relation to slurry management with a range of ammonia reduction technologies including low emission flooring systems in all of the livestock buildings, covered slurry stores and the use of trailing shoe slurry spreading equipment. As a student you will gain experience of the key technologies we have installed within the Caffrey Dairy Centre including straw bedded transition cow management facilities, cubicles with unrestricted forward lunging, mechanical cubicle cleaning and bedding, safe bull handling pens and automatic drafting gates to name but a few. We also go over 100 acres of cereals and potatoes every year and we try to involve students as much as we can with autumn, spring ploughing and cultivation work. The Beef and Sheep Centre is located very close to the main Greenmount campus and is used to demonstrate efficient and sustainable production of beef and lamb with a particular focus on grassland management. The unit consists of 125 hectares of grassland with 90 suckler cows, 160 finishing cattle, 210 breeding ewes and a small area of cereals. A target for the unit is to maximise output per hectare as land is one of the biggest limiting factors for most lowland beef and sheep farms. To try to achieve this one of the main efficiency drivers is to grow and utilise as much grass as possible and over the past two years over 12 tonnes of grass dry matter per hectare has been grown. Students get experience with a number of different grazing systems from set stock to rotational and paddock grazing systems. These systems are demonstrated at the Beef and Sheep Centre and results have shown that even in years with difficult weather, high levels of stock performance can be achieved with beef cattle achieving an average growth rates of over a kilo of live weight per head per day. On this farm students are fully involved with all aspects of sheep and cattle rearing from lambing sheep to weighing and dosing cattle and this farm provides many opportunities for practical based learning. The Hill Farm Centre is located at Glenwarry in Antrim Hills between Ballymena and Larne. The farm extends to almost a thousand hectares and is home to 100 suckler cows and 1100 breeding ewes. We use the enterprises at the Hill Farm Centre to demonstrate to students the facts of management practices of hill land with a focus on the integration of livestock and environmental management. Effective grazing management of the land with cattle and sheep, including predator control and management for game, has led to significant increases in the number of breeding waders, hares, songbirds and grouse. And for the first time in 20 years, a pair of curlew-fledged chicks on the hill farm in 2017. And this success has been repeated each year since. Students working on projects at the hill farm will gain a wide range of experience of using state-of-the-art technologies to maximise environmental and production efficiency outcomes including the use of electronic ID sheep handling equipment, the latest labour saving technologies and effective habitat management. All our farms are LEAF, that's linking environment and farming approved and students play an important role with helping us maintain that important accreditation through helping us improve biodiversity across our farms. We are very fortunate that the college places a high degree of importance on keeping up to date with the latest technologies. This allows us to continually invest in new and exciting machinery and technology to give, in particular our degree students, really good relevant experience using and operating modern equipment. We are proud that the experiences our students gain from their times on the Caffrey farms really makes a difference to them when they either enter the job market or return home to farm. Thanks to Robert for taking us on that virtual tour. And as you can see, uh, as a student at Greenmount, uh, you will get the opportunity to be ex use some of the latest technology in agricultural development uh, here on the college farm. We're going to take a few, qu uh, think about a couple of questions that we normally would be asked uh, by students uh, thinking of applying for a course at Caffrey. And Aaron, if I come to you, first of all, uh, a, a question we would normally get is, what type of experience does a student need uh, before they can come on to an agricultural course? Yes, that's a f definitely a frequent question. Um, 
People expect all our students to come from big farms, and that certainly isn't the case. We would have a full range of students, yes, from full-time farms, but we also have a lot of students from smaller farms, and indeed students who don't come from farms at all. All we would ask that students have a certain level of experience before they come and are certainly familiar with some agricultural of terms. They would have worked in the industry, you know, and gathered up experience. So if anybody now is thinking, yes, this could be a course for them, please use the next, you know, the winter months to gather up and get experience over the incoming months because it is important, but it certainly we get a range of experience coming through. Okay, thanks, Irene. And another common question, uh, particularly from someone interested in the part-time courses, um, the day that they, the students come to college, do they have to come to Greenmount here? No, we have five centres within um, Northern Ireland. We use our own campuses here at Greenmount, Enniskillen and Lochery, but we also use a couple of other centres, which at the moment are Swatra and Banbridge. So we are well spread out geographically, so students will find a centre pretty well close to themselves. Okay, yep. and certainly that would be really handy for a 16-year-old who maybe hasn't access to their own transport exactly. at this stage. Exactly. Okay. Uh -huh. And Mark, one uh, question for yourself on the higher education side of things. Um, UCAS is a term we're all familiar with and certainly young people will be familiar with, but in what context uh, does that come into higher education? Well, all the applications for our foundation degree and our honours degree programme must be made through the UCAS system for the full-time course provision. For the part-time foundation degree, you can apply directly to the college. Mm -hmm. And Mark, would that be for the same for the new honours degree part-time route? Indeed, it's through the college also. Okay. Um, we've heard about the higher education courses, we've heard about the further education courses, and while studying is very important, uh, life at Caffrey isn't just about studying, and students, when they're with us, uh, live on site. And at this stage, we're going to hear from current student, William Hendry. William is a foundation degree student. And William is going to tell you about the, the teaching uh, uh, facilities that are available and also a little bit about residential life at Greenmount. My name is William Hendry and I'm a first year student here in the Foundation Degree in Agriculture and Technology course. I would like to show you around and let you see what's on offer for students who choose to live on campus. The under 18 students live in either Boyd or Fulton Hall. The bedrooms in Boyd Hall are en suite and are cosy and comfortable, while Fulton Hall has a single study bedrooms, which are shared bathroom facilities for a small number of students. The over 18 students stay in the self-catering accommodation in the student village, either in one of the bungalows or a lodge. Around 12 students live in each of the lodges and three in each of the bungalows. The bedrooms in the lodges are all en suite and there is a shared kitchen, sitting room, laundry facilities. Every evening, students living in campus accommodation are looked after by the residential support team. These staff, with the Student Representative Council, arrange activities for the students like going to the cinema, ice skating, various sporting activities or outings to Belfast. There is a gym in Greenmount Resource Centre and sports hall as well. The residential support team also look after the safety and security of students when they are on site. The main place to eat on campus is the Manor Restaurant which is open throughout the day from 8 in the morning to 6 at night and provides a great range of meals. The Cyber Cafe which is in Greenmount Resource Centre also offers snacks and drinks from 10 in the morning so there's absolutely no excuse for anybody to go hungry. Most under 18 students have a cater card which their parents or guardians preload with money so you don't have to carry cash about which is very handy. One of the main places on campus for classes and recreation is the Greenmount Resource Centre or as we call it, the GRC. This is where most of the classrooms, lecture theatres and IT suites are. The Student Services Manager Leslie Ann's office is here too and she can help with any queries or issues you may have. Also, this is where some of the residential support team are found in the evenings. The Cyber Cafe is also located in the GRC and serves food, which is also the main social hub for students to hang out. There's TVs, pool tables, football, as well as table tennis and computers to play games on. The core to any college is the library, and I have to say, 
All the students love the newly refurbished library here at Greenmount. It has a great selection of relevant journals and books as well as an extensive collection of e-learning materials. The library is also a great place to study if you want just a bit of peace and quiet. Greenmount is only three miles away from the town of Antrim. It has everything you will need in terms of shopping, cafes, restaurants and entertainment and it is also around 30 minutes from Belfast. When you live on campus, it is so easy to make friends and there is a real sense of community. Living away from home has made me much more independent and I love the freedom of doing my own thing. I hope you enjoyed the tour and maybe I will see you here next year. William's tour there has really given a great feel for life at Greenmount for, for students. And, and really when you talk to students after they've left the college, uh, one of the things they'll tell about is their, their time in accommodation and the lifelong friends that they have made. We're coming not close to the end of our virtual event, but Mark, another question we sometimes get, uh, certainly on, on higher education, is in relation to the work placement element. And could you tell us a little bit about the range of work placement opportunities available for higher education students? Yes, all our higher education programs have a, a work placement component of variable duration from 12 to 14 weeks to a year, um, which the student can select depending on their own individual aspirations and needs. And they have the opportunity to tailor their placement very much to where they see their future career. We would have placement opportunities in Northern Ireland and further afield, GB, and actually the world's your oyster, New Zealand, America, Canada, Holland. Um, the name but a few. Uh, the college has well established link with many work placement providers on a global basis and we have staff that will assist the student to identify and to secure work placement. Okay, thanks Mark. And ultimately uh, studying at CAFRI and studying in agriculture the ultimate aim is to enter employment in the agri-food industry and we're now going to hear from a former student George Williamson who graduated with an honours degree in agricultural technology and is now uh, taking forward his career within the agricultural industry. Well, hello George, and thank you for joining with us today for our conversation as part of our agriculture at Greenmount Open Day. Uh, could you tell us about what you've been up to? Um, yeah, uh, since I graduated, I suppose yeah, it is five or six years ago, as, as you say, Alan, um, I immediately started employment with Dunbia, um, beef and lamb processor based in Dunyanin. I joined their agriculture and research team as a graduate, um, where I stayed in that role for two years, I suppose, before I moved into the agriculture manager's role, and then moved through to head up the agricultural operations side of things um, up until January of this year, when I actually decided to move on and move to join Genus on the beef side of things. Um, so primarily, I suppose, over the course of my career, working very closely with number one with producers and beef and lamb producers in particular to create a product that um, meets consumers needs both in terms of cooking ease and things like that so really moving to align the supply chain with the consumer and what they're what they're after um, then at other times join genus to uh, do a lot of that work in terms of aligning the genetics going into primarily the dairy herd and working very closely with some of the large dairy producers to really produce a beef product that, that fits with the beef supply chain Okay, great. So that, that has you pretty busy at this stage anyway. Yeah, it's given me plenty to do. Um, as we know, beef and dairy is I suppose becoming the, the growing thing at the minute. Um, but 50 to 60 percent of the market's currently coming from the dairy herd. So there's plenty to be done. And things are moving along quite a pace. And if we weren't in COVID at this time, you would probably probably be traveling a wee bit around the world in your job, wouldn't you? Yeah, so you could find me anywhere between, I suppose, here in Japan at the minute, um, just depending on, on, on where and what's happening. But yeah, essentially covering most of, most of the EMEA, EMEA region, as they talk about. Yeah. Brilliant. Uh, learning by doing is a big ethos here, Caffrey, which you will probably well know from your time studying with us. And how would you feel your learning by doing experience? at Caffrey has set you up for your career now? Um, yeah, so I suppose the enterprise management was the big learning by doing piece that we would have done very much being out on the farm um, every week or so. Um, yeah, I was in the red meat side of things and the beef side of things and I suppose that followed nicely into my career path. So in terms of 
livestock management and beef production systems and probably had a bit of a head start in terms of where I was going and what I was thinking. Um, obviously, when you come from a family farm, you have kind of one system in your head. And it's good to I suppose, understand the range of systems and being from Fermanagh, I suppose we had in the same upland experience, maybe that the people in other parts of the country would have. So moving into the sheep in particular and the beef industry, it was very good to get that the feel for them production systems. George, your route into Greenmount would have been slightly different. You completed your A-levels before you came in. Could you tell us a wee bit about A-levels and then to Greenmount? Um, yeah, so I completed my A-levels. Um, I suppose back in school, I was one of them kind of pupils who wasn't fairly sure where they were going or what they were going to do. And I was, I was coasting along quite a bit. So I um, completed my A-levels and, and during my time doing A-levels, I suppose I heard about Greenmount and Agricultural College. and. And I gave that a lot of consideration and that's kind of where I ended up going. So um, after doing my A-levels, I joined the foundation degree in agriculture and rural studies. Um, it was a three year program, a six month work placement um, option, I think, or two year program, sorry, with six month work placement. And I completed my six months work placement and my program and then decided to go back and top up to my honours degree. Um, so I went back to Greenmount again and done that in association with Queen's University um, and completed my degree um, four years later after starting college, I think it was. So um, as I often say, there's people who, who started doing the degree the same time as me and they finished the same time as me. And we both had the same amount of work placement. It was just how it was spread out was a wee bit different. So really uh, the, the foundation degree I found very beneficial in, in some aspects. Okay. So I did. Great. As you've moved through the agri-food industry and uh, you've had a couple of uh, jobs since you graduated, would you have met many graduates or classmates along the way? Yeah, it, it's funny, like your classmates, you always meet somewhere throughout the year. Um, I'd say there's 90% of them, 95% of them you will meet at some stage throughout the year. And then as you move through the industry, um, between current college staff and ex-college staff and ex-college students, um, you nearly all cross paths, nearly always cross paths with someone somewhere along the line who knows someone who knows someone and um, it's a small world we live in and, and we're nearly all connected through someone yeah so we are brilliant i'd like to thank you so so much for your time today i know you're very busy um and on behalf of myself and Caffrey, i would like to wish you all the best in your chosen career i want to thank you very much thanks to george for taking time out of his busy schedule to tell us how the qualification he has attained at Caffrey has helped him take forward his career within the agri-food industry. We're almost at the end of our virtual event, but remember we're still live, so keep giving us those thumbs up. Um, but I just want to take a couple of minutes to really recap on what we've covered this evening. If I start first of all with higher education, uh, we have uh, three degrees available, uh, two honours degrees, focusing on agricultural technology, agri-environment, and uh, agri-business and really good opportunities then for young people to stay and study in Northern Ireland. And alongside the two degrees, we have a very successful foundation degree in agricultural and technology. Uh, details of those higher education courses are available on our website. And remember to apply to UCAS for the full-time courses or directly to CAFRI for uh, part-time study. Then at further education, again, we have options available on both a full-time and part-time basis, options at level two and at level three, and those courses are highly practical in nature, with students spending a lot of time on the college farm or if they're taking the part-time course uh, on their work placement farm, learning new skills, learning about different technologies in agriculture, and really putting that into practice on a day-to-day -day basis. Again, full details of those courses, how to apply, uh, the entry criteria, all that information can be found on the CAFRI website. So that's it, folks. We're at the end of the event. It remains for me at this stage to thank all those who took part this evening. So Mark, thank you to you. And Aaron, thanks to you. Thanks for your contribution. And also to Robert, to Sarah, and to George, and to William. Uh, for their contributions in the videos and the virtual tours. I hope you have enjoyed uh, our virtual event and if you've got a really good feel for the life of a student at Greenmount and for the range of agricultural courses that we have available. That said, I hope to see you in the near future and possibly to welcome you to our college in September. And until then, can I thank you for watching. 
and good night. <laughs>